the um, libation, those of you who want to invoke your particular ancestors, like your grandfathers, grandmothers, etc., please feel free to call out their names. Jenny? Ana Tutu, Ana Tutu, Ile Tutu, Tutu Leroye, Tutu Odara. Baba, oh Baba, oh hey, hey, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh hey, hey, Baba, oh Baba, oh hey, hey, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh hey, hey, Baba, so ano, awa ori mo, yeah, yeah, so ano, awa ori mo. Be more yeah, yeah, oh, won't be a da be oh, ye. Neba tea, ye won't mojo. Kobe and Nico Bay. Roby and Nero, Roby and Nero Co. Walla Wamodo, Walla Wamodo, Awa Modo. Joe be a beggy, Joe be a beggy, Joe. Neva T. Ewa Mojo. Ashe, 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 Excellent. So, family, you can put the candles on yeah. the altar or you can put them on the walls around you. And uh, anything you want to connect with your ancestors would be a good time.
Yes, Mr. Bomani, how are you? Okay, so uh, can we have uh, about two minutes here, please? I know we've been here for quite a while and it's very humid, but then just two minutes of your time. So, behind this very shrine, you realize that there is a very short, thick wall out here. This short, thick wall has never been a part of the original construction of the building, which means there must be something hidden at the back of it. And I want you all to know that that happens to be an underground tunnel that connected the men's dungeon and the door of the return about 80 meters from here. So all African men that were made to stay here whenever the ships docked about a mile away from the castle, they were never allowed to walk out through the courtyard. They were rather shackled and chained to each other. They would force them to go through the underground passage. And they always moved them out of the dungeons late in the night when the whole town is very quiet and asleep. And at that time, as they walked through, the inside of the tunnel becomes hot. But then as people move, pulling their brothers from one end to the other, their bodies also generated heat. Europeans were not coming down here, moving Africans through the tunnel. They had Africans overseers doing that job. Like they got doing today. So they had lanterns, which gave them light to be able to see through the tunnel. And these lanterns has got fire just like this. So then that fire makes it much hotter on the inside. You are going to go through the tunnel, end up at the door of no return, but at the door of no return, the energy to fight and free yourself as an African male captive, you don't have it. If you are that weak, then it's easier for people to be moved by the Europeans from one end to the other without stress. But then the tunnel was blocked off when the slave trade was over entirely in all British colonies in West Africa. That is why we can't see part of it here, but when we go up, we are going to see parts of it from there. We can walk on top of it. And all those wreaths here were left here by Africans from the diaspora, as well as some European sympathizers. They bring them in to pay their respect. Mm. Well, wonderful guest. Let's go out there and enjoy some fresh air. It's been very humid here. <laughs>